Well, without further ado, again, well, it's got to love live TV. This, is this has been quite the incredible couple of matches. We played one semifinal match, and now I I'm ready to play the second semifinals match. I think you guys are as well. So without further ado, the third time I said that, Allie, take it away. All right. We have in red our Innovate Division champions. We've met them on this field before, but let's meet them again from Jackson, Tennessee. We have Team 2775V. Let's hear for Jackson Area Robotics. They're partnered with from Fuzhou, Fujian, China. Team 9698B, let's hear for Affiliated High School of Fujian Normal University. And on our Blue Alliance, that is our Spirit Division champions. From Taichung City, Chinese Taipei, it's Team 699-96W, we. And they're partnered with the team from McLean, Virginia. It's Team 12H, Happy St Haystacks. All right, this field is ready to go. Semifinals match number two in three, two, one, go. We start autonomous here on the NASA field. Red Alliance going straight for getting discs into their high goal. Blue not far behind. Blue trying to get into that high goal. They just missing so carefully. Red getting discs in that last second. Red's gonna take the autonomous bonus. Driver control in three, two, one, go. We start our driver control. Blue Alliance going straight for their high goal. They wanna get as many discs as they can in that high goal. Red Alliance trying to do the same. Three discs catapulted right at once by the Red Alliance. We see these teams going right around the field, trying to pick up the discs faster than the Alliance. Blue Alliance dropping off some discs. Red might be stuck on that low goal barrier. Their partner's right behind them, trying to push them, become free. Blue Alliance dropping off three more discs into that high goal. Blue Alliance picking up discs from their low goal, going straight to line up for that high goal. Red Alliance is still stuck on that low, that low goal barrier. Their partner helps them come free. Blue Alliance dropping off some more discs into that high goal. We see not many discs left. They're mostly in the low goals of these fields. Red dropping off three more discs with their catapult. That's 9698B going straight for the rollers. We see red owning rollers. Blue coming in, trying to play some defense on them, trying to stop them from taking a currently blue owned roller. Blue dropping off some more discs. Both teams getting some defense being played by the other alliance. Red trying to take ownership of rollers. Blue coming in and trying to stop them. Red takes ownership of a roller. They go for a fourth red owned roller. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock. We see more defense being played over by the rollers. These teams are trying to keep their ownership. Red playing defense on blue. Red getting ownership of another roller. More defense being played. 10 seconds left on the clock. We see end game mechanisms expand for both red and blue. We see more field titles covered. Will we see another as time expires? Wow, what an exciting match here on the NASA field. We have many field tiles covered by both alliances. We're gonna score up the field. So Grant, back to you. I'm standing here with another one of our friends. This is James Joe. That's right, James. How are you doing today? Joe, you go by Joe. I'm doing by Grant. Yeah, every, everyone <laughs> calls me Joe, Grant. Joe, how's your season been? Um, my oh, season has off, been very what you, what busy. What do you do here at Worlds? What do you, what do you get? So I'm one of the MCs. I was the MC for the Arts Division this week. Shout out to Arts. And what do you do when you're not at Vex Worlds? So I run a huge district program. I run 31 of Vex events this year. 31 events. And I have been to, this is my 34th event I think that I've been to this year. How many of those did Zaya ref? None. Oh, Zaya, you got to make your way to Texas. Come on. That's right. So, so 31 events, like, how do you even pull that up? Do you learn, like, tricks, uh, how to, you know, go from one to the next? Or? So, my school district has an amazing space that stays up all the time, four fields, no waiting. 
but we do leagues during the week. We do a bunch of skills only events, um, especially for our IQ kids. Get them in there and get them learning how to play in front of a referee, how to go through inspection. Absolutely. And it trains them so that later in the season they can play some great matches. So you said you were over on the arts division. Did you see anything play out like gameplay wise that kind of took you by surprise or was really exciting? Yeah. So especially our arts division champion playing one offense, one defense, where one team was doing most of the scoring, 80-59 was scoring almost all the way through eliminations. And their alliance partners were playing incredible shutdown D on the other alliance. That's what got them through. I was actually able to, I was able to chat with their partners a little bit before the, the, the ceremony and whatnot, and they, they kept crediting blank scouting uh, abilities and, and 8059 scouting abilities for like just giving them elite strategy for each match. So that's, it's really cool that it paid off for them. So, um, all right, well, we've uh, seen some of Zaya's fans, seen some of Ben's fans. Uh, let's see if Job's got any fans out there. That's right.